people come in and they say, wow. It's such a good space to, to work in. It's a real joy. It's very artistic. There's a lot of cool things. The RBA Learning Programme engages the broadest possible audience with architecture and the built environment. We work with learners of all ages, from young school children through our National Schools Programme to older learners and community groups. Over eight years, the RBA Learning Programme has grown quite considerably. So working with teams across the RBA, we were able to identify spaces within the historic HQ to be transformed into the new Centre for Learning. And that, combined with a generous grant from the Claude Duffield Foundation, made it a reality. It was an amazing opportunity, but also I remember coming in the same space 20 years ago. It's like a breath of fresh air compared to the spaces that used to be here before. There's the main RIBA Claw Learning Studio. There's also the Claw Study Space, which is a, a smaller space for dedicated learning around library artifacts and particular books. There's also um, the Learning Terrace outside with the um, amazing planters and, and mobile pieces. And we chose an approach that looked at sustainability as a opportunity for discussion and excitement about materials and construction as a way of engaging everyone in architecture. So much of the cabinetry and floors are made of bamboo, which is an exciting and different material to timber. And also another material that you can see is the plastic, which is used for the faces of the cabinetry. And it's made of recycled yogurt pots, which learners and visitors to the Claw Centre find exciting and engaging. The workshops were very different and diverse, and it was creating a space which could perform that way and have that level of flexibility was a real challenge, but something we found really exciting. It is enabling the RBA learning team to really spread their wings and to be able to teach in ways they've never done before, to do large scale installations, different workshops, have big groups, have lectures. When you get a group of 30 kids excited on a school trip coming in, you can get them all seated onto the bench seating quickly to give a presentation. There's projector screens that drop down in front of the seating. Welcome to our new Claw Learning Centre space. Having windows and having a nice view and having a big spacious room, just it just changes the children's mood. You create the world and you make the world a better place. The children love it, like as you can see around, they are enjoying every bit of the activities that they've done. We want them to be multi-skilled and multi-talented and this is a part of uh, like extracurricular learning. Hopefully down the line it means that we'll have a changing face of architecture or at least people will feel maybe more involved in their built environment. We've got 20 teenagers with us today at the RBA and we're running a workshop on high streets and regeneration. So we're looking at different ways to think about architecture. So yesterday we went to a high street to look at shops and shop fronts and stuff. I had an interest in architecture and things around like that, civil engineering and product design, but this workshop definitely helped me get like a more of a grip on what architecture is. Even if some people don't end up wanting to be architects, I think they will all take something away, whether it be a skill or a sort of an inspiration for what they want to do later in their life talking to people at a young age and just getting them to sort of think about what's around them is a starting point to them thinking it's something they can influence or something they can make choices about. So welcome everyone, let's come in. I'm just going to sketch um, and I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do the outline. So we've got a group of older people who come here to try something new. You learn new things. It's quite therapeutic actually, and it's also social. I wish there would be more like this, more company like this, giving us older folks a chance to enjoy ourselves and also help us relax and help us to challenge our mind. So having this class, the architecture, the collections, the room, it all facilitates that interaction, that, uh, that connection. So you can take these home and show them. Yeah. Hang it on the fridge, yeah. <laughs> We want to engage everybody in architecture and the built environment, the spaces that we inhabit and the spaces that affect us.
The centre is really enabling us to push the boundaries of creative learning. I'm really excited to see so many hundreds of people benefiting from the new space.